that you are here. And I am excited for today because I'm going to update you on our infertility journey. So for those of you who are new, I just wanna give you a super quick background into kind of our history with infertility. My husband and I have been struggling with infertility for just over three years. We have had six IUIs. One of them, um, I did get pregnant, and unfortunately it resulted in a miscarriage, I think on week seven. Um, so that was absolutely devastating. And since then, we have done two IVF cycles. And after all of the tests, the poking, the prodding, the appointments, my infertility specialist thinks that the issue is with my egg quality. So I did do a video a while ago about how to improve my egg quality and things I was eating, and supplements I was taking, and that's great and everything, but that doesn't mean that I'm going to magically fix my egg quality. Um, it may have boosted them for a little while, but clearly that's not enough. It's not a magical miracle um, that you can make your egg quality like the quality of a 22 year old. You know what I mean? So anyway, we did two IVF cycles, both cycles. Um, we did have um, embryos in the end. But unfortunately, after the genetic testing of those embryos, they were all abnormal. So just based on my history, he's thinking that either adoption or going with an egg donor is our best bet. So I'm going to be honest with you. When I got that news, I got really devastated. I guess it was devastating news because I immediately went to the thought of my future baby is never going to have my DNA and my genetics. And that was really difficult to wrestle with and to understand and to come to terms with. And after talking with people, praying a lot, reading articles, and listening to other people's stories, I kind of flipped my frame of mind. So immediately when you hear like, hey, you might need to go with an egg donor, you immediately start thinking of all the negatives. You do truly kind of become depressed. Like you just feel like everything is going wrong and this was not the plan and like, you're just devastated. You're absolutely crushed. And so what I had to do was just reframe my thoughts. And one thing that I came across that really helped me kind of get past the negativity was to think about an egg donor as like getting an organ transplant. So when people have organs that are failing, like a liver, a kidney, maybe their heart even. Like when you have organs in your body that aren't working properly, they're failing you, one fix for that or one thing that helps is to get a transplant. And so if you think about an egg donor like a transplant, it doesn't seem as shameful. There's a lot of guilt and shame that comes with infertility and you really, there's nothing to be ashamed of. You didn't do anything wrong. This is not your fault. And so I think it's really important to, to start thinking about infertility and your journey in a different way. Millions of people around the world get transplants. This isn't, you're not the only one that's ever done this. And there are so many success stories and so many happy couples out there that have used an egg donor to create their dream. And that's something to be excited about. Like how fortunate are we that we even have this option? Like how crazy is that? You can take the egg out of another woman, fertilize it with your husband's sperm, 
and then you carry that pregnancy and you give birth to that child basically your dreams come true like i said and so it's just it's just really important to change the way you think about this and instead of dwelling on the negative try to think of the positives try to think in ways to give you hope or to find gratitude um, because this is not an easy journey <laughs> not easy at all and i completely understand how you feel and what you're going through if you are also dealing with infertility but i want to let you know that using an egg donor is not anything to be ashamed of. It is not anything to feel guilty for. You shouldn't have to hide it or feel like you can't tell people, but that's your personal preference and that's your journey. So another article or another way that I flipped my thoughts was I came across this article and I will link it down below in my description. And what it's talking about is epigenetics. I think I'm saying that correctly and basically how that affects egg donation. And the article goes into all kinds of different statistics and information, but what I found really interesting, they have done studies and found out that the person carrying the child that is experiencing that pregnancy can influence the outcome of the baby. So basically what the article is saying is even though your DNA is not used and is not in the egg, you carrying the pregnancy switches on certain things, maybe that's what epigenetics is, switches on certain things within that baby that will form it into the child that you will have. So if you were to take that exact same egg that you transferred into yourself. Let's just say you transferred it into a different woman. The baby that that woman has will be completely different than the baby that you have because you are two different people. Are you guys kind of following what I'm saying here? So even though your DNA isn't being used, you are still 100% the mother of that child because you have influenced its preferences, you've influenced its outcome, you've influenced its personality because it's drawing that information from you as the pregnant mother. I know a lot of people are worried about going through an egg donor because they feel like, like the child's not really theirs, but it 100% is. And I think it's really a tragedy to have the mind frame that using a donor egg basically means it's not your baby because that's just not true. I hope that that makes sense because I think it's really important for people who are considering an egg donor or who are going through the process right now just to, to really read it and kind of draw a lot of positivity from that article and that's what really, really helped change my thought process and my frame of mind when it came to considering an egg donor. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up because it really supports my channel and it shows me that you care. Mwah.